Once again, we want to drive home the point that using the critical scholar's own assumptions, you can show that Jesus claimed to be God. Now, that doesn't mean we agree with their assumptions. It just means that the historical evidence is so strong. Non-Christians can come to believe in Christ by examining these historical facts. Now, Dr. Habermas summarizes this point. Listen. Maybe we can backtrack here just a little bit and talk a little bit about theological definitions, and in particular the method that I'm using here. My point is this. If you take the traditional view of Jesus Christ as laid out in the Gospels, Red Letter Edition, Acts, Epistles of Paul, obviously no one's going to dispute the fact that Jesus in those texts claims to be the Son of God, died on the cross for our sins, was raised from the dead. But I'm taking a different approach, what I might call a minimal facts approach, what I might call lowest common denominator approach, and what I'm saying is, even if the critics are right about their methodology, and we can note, say, five layers of tradition in the traditional Gospels, including a cue, which is taken from the German for source, and what it means is a sayings document. It's believed by critics that a sayings document was circulating in the early church with nothing but sayings of Jesus. And they take this very seriously. And uh, that's a document that includes Matthew 11, 27, on Jesus being the Son of God. We've talked about creeds. Evangelicals don't think like that because they think, hey, look, this whole book is Scripture. Why do we have to look at pieces? But the critic who sees the New Testament as a book of ancient literature, and maybe nothing more, he sees it's very important, and I think he's right, that if we have some early statements that predate the books in which they appear, i.e., Paul saying, I gave you that which I was given. Paul saying, observe the traditions of the elders. We have these little tiny confessions that predate the books in which they're written. The point is, they're really early, and I've argued they're apostolic. So with these kind of critical uh, lowest common denominator ways of thinking. You have creeds, you have Q, you have sources in the Gospels. My point is, even using their methods, we really come up with some of the strongest arguments for the deity, death, burial, resurrection of Jesus.